So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and, and make the adjustment so that it, you guys can smooth it out because I was having you guys going straight through and what I didn't like was that you're setting up anyways. So we're just basically gonna look that if we're gonna go ahead, you know the combination over here is gonna be that jab, that uppercut, that hook, and then that jab. Again, one, two, three, four. Here, one, two, three, four. So we know that's the boxing combination. Now, when we try to add the kicks, you can see what was happening with a lot of our guys, especially when we we're doing the tie pads versus partner drills. You guys were hitting, boom, choppy, boom. And then you're trying to set, and then you're just trying to throw that hook. So the way that I want to think about it is that if I'm just going to throw a jab, boom, we're going to automatically throw that body kick. It should be smooth. From that point, when we go do that uppercut, it should be a smooth motion. I can drop, I hit, and I should automatically kick, and I'll set my body. Then I'll go ahead and throw that hook. I'm thinking about how I'm going to hook, throw that hook. Somebody drops their rear hand. Boom, you jab your body, boom, and then you basically kick to the body. And then I'll basically do the jab and then that kick. So we're going to we're going to try to smooth out the punch with the kicks. But we and then, then we go back into the boxing combination. So right over here, that makes you difficult. I do the boxing combination first. Us, us, us. Then I'm gonna do that combination where I'm gonna do the jab, the body kick. I'll set myself up. And I'm gonna go ahead and do that uppercut now. So I set myself up. I look what I did with my body. I dip it, boom, hit, and boom, automatically kick back into my stance. He holds for the hook. I'm thinking that he throws across at me, right there, and and boom, automatically. From that point, I see that, that jab, we can take a step back if you want. Boom, step, and boom, step. And then I do the boxing combination again. One, two, three, four. And then I do it again. One, boom. Back into my stance, that uppercut. Boom, and pop, hit. Back over here. Boom, and boom. Back right over there, up forward. Up and boom, and kick. And then box combination number six again. One, two, three, four. Okay, so we flip it around. Okay, so right over here, we start from the beginning. Boom. Nope, we're gonna do the, uh, yep. Boom. Boom. And then from there, I do that combination. That's it. One, back in my stance. I think about for that uppercut. So you set up for the uppercut. From here, drop, boom, and automatically. From that point, you're going for that hook. And right away. From that point, I get my distance. Boom. Hit. And then the combination. One, two, three, four. Then I do it again. One. And. And then the combination again. One, two, three, four. Okay, so hopefully that explains it a lot better than what we're doing on uh, Tuesday. Tuesday, I just had to just keep going straight through. But this time, it's okay for you to take a break and see if you can combine each punch with each kick. Any questions? Two cops on two. One, two.